Hey y'all, welcome to the Crafty Cove. Here we like to do farmhouse decor on a Dollar Tree budget. Today's the fifth, so that means another five under five. And this month's theme is fall frenzy. I'm so excited for this. We're gonna talk about it in just a little while. But for now, we're gonna get right into the DIYs. So for all of my projects today, I'm using tumbling tower blocks as my main components. So these are all tiered tray decor items and I'm using the tumbling tower blocks to make every single one of them. This is so affordable, y'all. I did not even use two entire boxes of these tumbling tower blocks to do this. So I'm so excited to bring you these projects. So what I'm doing right now is kind of making this little frame and you can see how I'm doing it, just gluing some of the tumbling tower blocks together. And I did four on each side one on the top one on the bottom and then i made two little compartment like things right here in the middle so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some of the new dollar tree calendars to put in this and this turns out so cute i love how it looks it can be changed out if you want to um i didn't make mine to be changed out i'll just make another one for the next season <laughs> but um there i'm sure there's an easy there is an easy way that you could go ahead and make this interchangeable but I just, at first, I just make my little frame there. Then I'm gonna take two jumbo craft sticks from Walmart. I'm gonna cut off the ends and then I'm going to cut them down to the size that I need because I'm going to use this for the back of my little frame and to glue my little calendar pieces on. So, excuse me. After I get those cut down, I'm gonna put those to the side for a minute. I'm gonna use some antique Waverly wax and we are going to coat this entire piece. I don't worry about the back. You can if you want, but for me, it just wasn't that big of a deal. So I paint all of the insides of the little frames all around the edges and the front part of this. And then what I'm doing is I'm just painting on my antique wax and then I'm just wiping it off just to give it like a stained look. Again, I think this is super cute. And y'all, honestly, this didn't even cost a dollar. So I'm really loving this. So now we're back to our two popsicle sticks there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them as close together as I can. Use another jumbo popsicle stick cut down. And we're going to glue that on the back of these two just to secure these two together. I'm just using, uh, actually on this whole video, I am using some hot glue, but it's wood glue. So. Now that we've got those pieces, we've not glued them on there yet. We've just got them glued and I've got the frame over them. And right now I'm just figuring out what little pieces that I want to use from the new 2023 uh, calendars that the Dollar Tree has come out with. I pick the three designs that I want and I just go ahead and cut those out. I think this is a super useful use is that make any kind of sense y'all uh -huh. yeah you know how i am i love this because it gives you another option to use these little small pieces on the calendar pages i think this turns out again adorable y'all let me know what you think about it in the comments but all i'm doing is taking our little calendar page i'm placing it down on the popsicle sticks where i want it to go i'm putting the little frame over it just to make sure that the words are going to show and how i want it and then I'm just basically using some school glue, a glue stick from the Dollar Tree, and I am just going to glue these right down on there. I haven't had any trouble with this coming apart or anything um, with just the school glue from the Dollar Tree. But when you put that frame over that, we're going to glue that down. So that is another extra adhesive, I guess, for those to stay where they're supposed to stay. So you can see now I'm just fitting on my last piece, just making sure everything's in its place where it should be. And then after I get all three of those glued on there, we're just gonna use our wood glue hot glue that I've got in my little glue gun here. My little glue gun, y'all, I got that from Michael's on clearance for $30, and I love this little thing. It, it works really great, so check out your Michael's for deals on glue guns. But we just put our hot glue all around our the inside of our frame and then just glue it right to our popsicle sticks. Then I go ahead and take another tumbling tower block and glue it to the back just so it can hold up a little better. Now I'm just going to take some buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna make just a simple shoestring bow and glue that right to the edge of this. 
I just, I don't put bow, well, maybe I'm lying. Maybe I do put bows on everything. I don't know, y'all. I just think it gives it that farmhouse look, and I love how it looks. So, that's just who I am. <laughs> I'm not great at making bows, though, but I can make a shoestring bow. Then we're just going to take some raffia, and we're going to go ahead and make another shoestring bow out of this. It, I make it look so difficult. It's not difficult, y'all. Just make the bow cut off your excess. <laughs> But y'all know me, I'm a little extra always. After we cut off our extra, we're just going to, or excess, we're going to glue that right onto the buffalo check bow. And then I decided it needed just a little more. So I found this little pine cone on a pick from the Dollar Tree and glued that right to the bottom corner. And look how cute. I absolutely love this. I love being able to repurpose those calendar pages in a different way. All right, y'all, so again, this is Five Under Five, our DIY challenge that I host every month with my friend Emily over at Farm Charm Chic. We have such a blast doing this every month. The theme changes every month, but the day and time is always the same. On the 5th of each month at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We always pick a co-host, and this month our co-host is Robin from Robin Spies and DIYs, and we are so excited to have Robin as our co-host this month. Y'all, don't forget to check out these two amazing ladies in my description box below, and also the playlist full of fall inspiration. Okay, DIY number two, y'all. We're moving right along, and again, using our tumbling tower blocks. So for this project, what I'm going to do is, at first, I'm going to use eight tumbling tower blocks and we are going to glue four side by side and make two stacks of these does that make any kind of sense two sets of these so two sets of four glued side by side oh y'all know i'm i i just don't have words sometimes after we get those four glued together we're going to glue these end to end to each other and i'm just trying to find because we all know Dollar Tree never has anything at the exact same size or cut. So I was just trying to find the right um, evenness, <laughs> whatever. Now we're going to end up taking six tumbling tire blocks. We're gonna glue three together two times. So three sets or two sets of three and then glue those two sets together. Now we're gonna take nine more and do the same thing. Three sets of three glued together. Am I making sense y'all? If not, you can look on here and see exactly what I'm doing. Sometimes that's a little bit easier than trying to listen to my rambling. <laughs> After we get those three sets of three glued together, now we're going to glue those three sets of three together. Oh my gracious. Anyway, glue all three of those together. Now we're going to take our two sets of four that we glued together and we're going to use Waverly Wax in Antique on these. And again, I'm just painting it on, painting it on, and then I am wiping it off with a paper towel. So I'm sorry if you see my dirty little paper towel in a lot of these shots. It's just, I try to remember to get it out of frame, but I don't always do that. So again, on the two, on the set with the four tumbling tire blocks, we're painting this with antique wax by Waverly, and we are wiping it right off. On the set of two of the threes glued together. I'm using, I can't remember what color. It is a Waverly color. It's not, not ivory. Um, it's an off-white color, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'll find out that color and put it in the description box below. And then we're doing the same thing with the three sets of three glued together. After we get those all glued together, we're going to take a little fan brush, dip it in our Waverly wax, and then we're going to go through and just kind of de-stress both of these uh, white pieces, off white pieces. Since I, y'all, I, I swear, I'm losing my mind sometimes. I cannot remember anything. But anyway, go through and just distress these as little or as much as you want. If you don't want to distress, don't even worry about that. You can always use a different color. Now I'm taking these little sticks from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to call them stems. And I need some smaller ones, so I'm going to take my little handy dandy saw here and we're going to cut a piece right in half. And that gives me two stems for my little pumpkins there at the perfect size i'll try to remember to link this in my description box below now we're just going to take one of each of these one stem and glue it to the top of one of our sets of three and again these are becoming pumpkins and these are just our little stems and then we do the same thing to the other one 
Now I'm going to take some buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to tie a little knot in this. I think it turns out super cute. And then I'm going to glue it right to the end, bottom of that stem there. I do the same thing for both of these. I usually do a bow, but I really liked how the knot look turned out on this. So y'all let me know what you think. Should I have went with a bow or is the knot okay to you all? Now I'm just taking some more raffia, flipping both of my pumpkins over, and I'm just going to glue a little bit of raffia on each um, side of these so it kind of looks like stalks that are coming up from the ground behind the pumpkins. I know. Y'all know me. I'm a little silly. But anyway, that's what we do there. Now we're just going to glue our two pumpkins to our base, which is what the piece with the antique wax became. It's just the base for our pumpkins. And that's it. I love how this piece turned out. And again, y'all, less than one dollar. Okay, DIY number three. This is my favorite DIY of the entire video. But I lost some footage, so I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. I take eight tumbling tower blocks. I glue two together end to end four times. So we've got four sets of two. Then I take two sets of two and glue those two together and do the same for the next one i'm showing you right here that right there is exactly how i did this and we come up with these right here one set of or two sets of four now i'm just using the same color that i used on all of the other videos or i'm sorry all the other projects and we are going to paint these fronts backs sides tops and bottoms now i'm taking some mop string that i got from a mop from the Dollar Tree. I did a gnome video a couple, one video back or two videos back and I'm just using some of that excess. First, I'm taking a bead and I'm going to glue that right above the center part of the tumbling tower blocks. Now I'm gonna use some hot glue and y'all can see, I'm just kind of going around my um, bead there with some hot glue and draping my mop strands on top of it then i'm doing the same thing to the bottom y'all i'm making a gnome and this is the cutest little gnome i believe i've ever done i'm not a gnome person i'm i'm slowly thinking i'm becoming one but these are absolutely adorable i make two of these the same exact way the only difference is their hats after we get all of our uh mop strands on there we're just going to start taking them apart just unraveling them because of course this is our gnome's beard Y'all, I think I'm going to do one of these for every single holiday. So if you start seeing little tumbling tower block gnomes, just know I've become obsessed. I, again, I'm not a gnome person or I didn't think I was, but the more I make them, I'm like, oh my goodness, how stinking cute are these? So after you get all of that unraveled, then I'm just going to take my scissors and I am going to cut down my beard to the size that I want it. Now I'm gonna take a piece of fabric from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna draw a triangle, but at the bottom, I'm gonna make it rounded. And then I'm going to cut that out. This is going to become our gnome's hat. Now I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on one side of it, fold my other side almost to the hot glue line, and then just fold it over. Does that make sense? And then I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue all down the rest of our little hat. To attach our hat, I'm putting a little bit of glue on the nose. I got my hat a little big, so I have to kind of make some adjustments here, but you can cut it a little smaller and then it will fit perfectly. But again, this doesn't bother me. I love how this turned out. Again, I made two of these just with different hats. And then just embellish however you want. I used a little sunflower to put at the tip of my little gnome's hat. And here they both are. How stinking cute are these? Again, my favorite of this entire video. DIY number four. We're moving right along. This is another super simple one, and I'm just calling these like tiered tray fillers. So first I'm going to take 10 tumbling tower blocks, and I'm going to glue those side by side. A set of 10. I'm not going to make you watch me do all of these, but you can see what I'm doing here. A set of 10 side by side. Then I take six and I glue two together side by side and then two more of them up just a little bit and then two more of them right back to the way I did the first two. Does that make sense right there? 
This turns out so cute also. I love how these turned out. Next, I'm going to take eight more, and these we are just going to glue together side by side. Again, I'm just calling these little tiered tray fillers. You can just put them anywhere in your tiered tray just to take up a little bit of space or in those spots that you don't know what to put something in. So for the 10 together, I painted orange. For the eight together, I did the antique wax, painting it on and then just rubbing it off. And then I used the ivory paint. Um, it's not ivory, y'all, but I can't think what it is. And painted the white ones. Now I just made some little decals. I made one that says pumpkin patch, one that says hayride, and one that says harvest. Again, little tear tray figure fillers just to put them on your tear tray. They don't even have to be on tear trays. They could actually be anywhere um, just as little decorations. And I love how they turned out. By the way, y'all just figured out the name of my paint. It's plaster. Oh, I can't remember anything. But here they are. Aren't those cute? I think those would look super cute on tiered trays just anywhere in your home. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, we're on to our last DIY, DIY number five. Another super simple one, again, with tumbling tower blocks. So we're going to take two sets of 10. So we're going to take four of them at a time and glue those together side by side, which will give us four sets of four. You can see here how I'm doing it. We do four sets the exact same way. Side by side, four each, and we're doing four sets. After we get those finished, we're going to take four more and take two of them, glue those together end by end, and do that twice. Oh, that took a lot. Now, our two of our sets of four, we're going to paint with plaster chalk paint by Waverly. And then we're going to take one set of four and one set of two and we're going to use the antique wax where i just paint it on and then wipe it off then take the last set of four and the last set of two well i'm still on the antique wax part but anyway the last set of two and the last set of four and paint those orange we're going to make little scarecrows y'all these turn out cute again none i use two packs of tumbling tower blocks and that's less than two or that's about two dollars when I bought them, they were still a dollar a piece. But I'm going to take a set of the orange and a set of the plaster. We're going to glue those together and then glue the two that are in antique wax right on top of that to make this little hat. Now we're going to take the antique wax and the plaster and we're going to glue those two together. Take the orange set of two and glue that right on. Next, I'm just going to take some little decals I made from my Cricut of little um, scarecrow faces. And I'm just going to put those down. And if they don't want to stick, press them down a little more. They will eventually stick. Then I just go ahead and make a couple little bows. Put a few little embellishments on these little scarecrows. I think they turned out super, super cute. I loved this video, y'all. Oh, I do put a little tumbling tower block on the back just to help them stand a little better. But y'all, I enjoyed this video. I love I'm getting into fall more and more every year, and I wanted to show that we can have super, super cute tiered tray decor on such a minimal budget. I myself don't think these look like they were made from Tumbling Tire Blocks from the Dollar Tree. Y'all let me know what you think. Thank you again to Emily and Robin. I've had such a blast. Don't forget to check them out in the playlist below. I love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back now. Here.